Now, first question, how did you guys decide that these first three episodes would become a feature-length film? Actually, it wasn't for us to decide, and it wasn't the first three episodes. It was an original storyline that took place there. Um, but George was the, the decision maker. He saw the footage that we were getting back from our overseas studios and the team, everything they've been pulling together, and he was really excited about it and said, you guys, you need to figure out how to make this for the big screen so we can kick off the series. Okay, now how much input did he have into the storyline compared to how much input you two had into like the actual storyline of this feature film? Well, it's all collaboration with George. I mean, the big thing is that you know, everything we're going to do story-wise is going to go through him. Because we're going to make sure that we're telling Star Wars the Lucasfilm way. So we might have some initial plot ideas that we throw at him, and then he kicks back, well, I'll do this and this, and that character wouldn't work this way. But, you know, it was really a big collaboration, and I think that it always yields good results uh, when the team is working well together, which we do. Okay, now, what new characters are you really excited for fans to see that are going to be in this film? Well, I'm excited about Ahsoka. That's Anakin's new Padawan, his student. Uh, you know, we don't know what happens to her. That's that's one new thing. Everyone said, well, I know Anakin becomes Darth Vader. So, you know, I already know the outcome of this film. Well, we don't know what happens to this girl. There's also a new villain, Asajj Ventress. Uh, so we got a lot of the girls active and about in the Star Wars universe. So that, that also is new in that way. Okay, now does this have a definitive ending, or is it something that's going to continue on when the series starts? Well, the movie definitely sets that up. Yeah, the movie has its own story arc, but it then kicks off the series. You get to know some of the main characters that are going to be in the series. Okay, now can you tell me what role Jabba the Hutt plays? Because fans are really interested to know what he's doing in the film. Well, Jabba, you know, it was really interesting when George, that was George deciding to put Jabba into the film. And it's exciting for us to bring back that old-time character. Uh, I won't go too much into it, but, you know, there's a little bit of Godfather in Jabba all the time. And, you know, the fact that his son is missing, you know, you see uh, Vito's love of uh, Michael and the Godfather. So I, we like to put a dash of that in there because uh, gangsters love their sons. That's the future. Now, are there any other old characters that we haven't seen in the three prequels that might pop up and really surprise fans? Or is that a surprise? That's all a surprise. We, we can't share that quite yet, but you'll have to watch the movie and the series to find out. But you can say that there are some old characters that are going to be popular. Absolutely. You're going to get to see and know some of these characters that we didn't have the opportunity to uh, explore in the movies. So we're going to get to know them a little better going forward. Okay, one, what one scene are you really excited for the fans to see who are really wanting to see this film? One scene? Well, it's hard to pick one scene. I mean... We got some great action sequences. I think there's a really great lightsaber fight that uh, Obi-Wan gets into, so it's nice to see him have a big action set piece. And also we got a great one going up the cliff where we stuck tanks literally on the side of a mountain. So I, I like that one too. Okay. Excellent. Thank you guys so much.